Bo, a number of challenges we face in the world today, and there is a lot of talk and people think that setting goals is the plan. How do we motivate people to take action? How do we get going? What's the biggest challenge we face today? Well, the biggest challenge we face today is in some sense, the biggest challenge we've always faced. And in fact, it's the challenge that nature faces and it's faced throughout evolution, which is that we have no idea what tomorrow is going to, what tomorrow is going to bring. We have no idea about the future. So that's the biggest challenge is that the world is, is uncertain. The future is uncertain. What's more is the information we get from that world is ambiguous. It has all kinds of possible meanings and the information we get from the world doesn't come with instructions. Doesn't tell us what to do. Why is the this a problem? People. Why is this a problem? So why is it a problem that, um, of uncertainty? It's because we can't predict um, during evolution, uh, the better you're able to predict, the more likely you could survive. So we evolved to predict. If you couldn't predict, you got selected out. So we evolved a brain that is constantly trying to think what's going to happen next and anticipate that the better you could do that, the more likely you survive. Um, but if the information you're using is uncertain and ambiguous, then how is it that you can predict? What can we do about it? Well, there's a number of things we can do. Um, what we typically do is we try to engineer worlds that are predictable. So we try to engineer out uncertainty. Uh, the problem is, um, and we try to, um, more than that, we basically, we try to stand still. So the world's constantly changing. What we try to do in response to that is to stand still. Great idea if it weren't for the fact that the world's changing. So the fact is what we have to do is eventually learn how to embrace and, and incorporate that change in the world and to change with it. The analogy I use is the analogy of surfing. So imagine the energy required to stand on a surfboard, but not surf, just stand on the surfboard, stay um, without falling while the waves are coming underneath you. Huge energy to try to do that, as opposed to actually surfing with the waves. What we have to learn how to do is to surf. Who needs to engage? Who needs to engage in this? Everybody needs to engage in this because this is something true for all of us, especially leaders. It's essential that leaders engage in this because what defines a good leader is how you lead others into uncertainty. And leaders, in my view, have to become what I call perceptually intelligent because they have to create a context through becoming aware of how and why we see what we do, which underpins everything it is to be human in order to help themselves and their teams to see differently. So they have to create a context that enables their teams to not just cope or deal with uncertainty, but to do better because of it. And what might be the impact? What's the impact of this? There's quite a few impacts. So first of all, well-being. Uh, one of the biggest sources of anxiety, of emotional and physical unwellness is uncertainty and our desire to stand still within. I mean, this goes back thousands of years. Buddhist, Buddhism says, you know, that the um, unknown is the source of our traumas in some sense. So what the tremendous benefit of this is one increased sense of wellness. The other is that your, the organization and the individuals can become more innovative, more creative. Uh, it can also facilitate things like um, retention and recruitment, which is a huge issue right now for organizations. Um, diversity and inclusion. When you start leading others into uncertainty with perceptual intelligence, um, all of these things are possible. They almost come for free. The, the other impact, by the way, is if when you lead this way, not only do you lead your organization in a better way, but as a consequence, you can actually have a much more significant impact on the world in a positive way. So how you lead your organizations will actually affect the world, not just your organization. Absolutely. So looking forward to continue the discussions at the conference. I'm really looking forward to being in Vancouver and to meeting all the people within these essential industries because the industry is facing tremendous uncertainty. So, uh, and how are they going to adapt and have tremendous positive impact on the world in doing so? So I'm really looking forward to going deeper into these topics. And I want people to walk away, not only understanding why uncertainty is so difficult, but wanting to go there because I could give them all the rules they want, but until they actually want to, nothing will happen. 
So my hope is that they'll walk away wanting to. Thank you. See you in Vancouver.